Hey, sis, would you rather buy a Lord of the Rings book with Rings of Power art on the cover, or would you rather break both of your legs? What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fader J. Back like I left something, and I'm glad you here. Yes, I'm glad you here. And today, we're going to be talking about Harper Collins, a publisher out there who is disgracing J.R.R. Tolkien's work. What they're doing is pretty much pissing on his grave, setting it on fire, and then taking another crap on top of the grave. This is what they're doing. Because they are taking the Lord of the Rings trilogy books and wrapping them up with Rings of Power art on it. Yeah, yes, that's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. And this time around, they're making a Anubis. Anubis is pretty much all the works in the collections put together in one big thing and People out there are so mad that a petition is being started. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be breaking it down. And we're going to be breaking down why Amazon Studios do not care about you, token fan out there. But before we get into that, before we get into that, what I need you to do is watch this video from the beginning all the way to the end. What that does is help me in the algorithm. And people who are mad about Amazon doing this to Tolkien's work, it brings more people in who haven't seen this video yet. And it helps me a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Also, this video is brought to you by Kenneth Rockefeller's Grogan 2. Kenneth Rockefeller is one of the coldest comic book artists in the game. And check out his book on Indiegogo because the art, the story, the inks, all that is written by him. He's one of my friends. Please go in my description box and check that out right now. Yeah. And shout out to my homie Big Raj. Big Raj sent me a super thanks. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow him up DBZ style. Yes, sir. That's what we do on the Fader J Show. Now let's get into this video right here. Speaking about the rings of power, what Harper Collins is doing. So I was checking this out on Bonding Comics. Shout out to Bonding Comics because they always have good articles about what's really going on. They're not one of these shield companies who lie in front so they can get access to different stuff. No, they just tell it how it is. And I seen it. I seen that Harper Collins, they're doing this again. And I didn't even know the token estate was behind this too, where they putting Rings of Power artwork on top of J.R.R. Tolkien's books. You have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, J.R. Tolkien did something magnificent for the fans. He gave us a beautiful masterpiece in the Middle Earth world. His books are stuck. His books got freaking scholars. That's how deep it goes, man. I, on my spare time, I told you guys this plenty of times. When I got some downtime on YouTube, I put it on Lord Videos just to get deep into that Middle Earth world. It relaxes me. I want to learn about these characters. Even though I've been reading these books since the first grade, I'm still learning new things. They have a freaking Elvish language out there, ladies and gentlemen. That's how beautiful this work is. But... A lot of people, and there's a certain fan out there, he was so mad, he was so P.O. What he did was, he started an online petition. You can check out that online petition right down at the bottom of the screen. And with this online petition, my boy out there, he went in. A lot of people been joining it, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I'm going to sign up as soon as this video was done. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out this article right here by Bounding Into Comments. And they pretty much break down what's going on with these covers, the secret agendas, the secret intentions. Let's check it out right here. This is what it says. It says, petition launched to have Harper Collins Amazon and the token estate stop selling Rings of Power covers on the Lord of the Rings. A user named the Token Fan launched a petition aimed at HarperCollins, Amazon, and the Token Estate to stop selling J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings books with covers from Prime Video upcoming The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power series. Yes, 
People need to stop them because they are destroying his masterpiece with this ugly artwork and it's brainwashing people, newcomers in to thinking this is a part of the law. This is not a part of the law. This is a new thing with new creations, new creators, new stories. Gal Galadriel, for instance, she's an army sword fighting woman. And that's not supposed to happen in the books. She's supposed to be a leader. She's supposed to be a sage with magical powers, helping people out on their journey. Not a warrior, but let's get into it right here with this tweet. This is what the tweet says by Harper Collins. It says, a new legend begins. Hashtag the rings of power arise on prime video on September 2nd and these brand new tie-in editions of the Lord of the Rings are available now Add them to your collection and immerse yourself in middle earth uh, This is another one with the Anubis. It said begin your journey into middle earth the new one value paperback edition includes the three titles that comprise J.R.R. Tolkien hashtag Lord of the Rings the fellowship of the ring the Two Towers and the Return of the King. Available August 6th. Pre order here. Please, I beg of you, do not pre order that freaking book or that Anubis because <laughs> it's disrespectful to J.R.R. Tolkien and you putting money into the pockets of these greedy people that do not care nothing about you. Please do not support this. If you're going to get a J.R.R. Token Lord of the Rings trilogy, make sure you get the original artwork stuff. The stuff that goes back to J.R.R. Token and his family. But the way it looks like on this Token estate, everything is going to go to his family, even those type of books. I really do hope not. Somebody in the comments help me below and let me know how that works with the books. But let's continue right here. It says... Now, the token fan created a change.org petition demanding HarperCollins, Amazon, and a token estate to stop selling Rings of Power book covers. The petition states HarperCollins, Amazon, and as a right holder, the token estate have unjustly co opted tokens, the Lord of the Rings, with covers from promotional material for Amazon, the Rings of Power. This show is not an adaptation. Rather, Amazon is making something new within a pre-established framework designed by Token, which Amazon is using creative license with. Like I told you, ladies and gentlemen out there, this thing is not an adaptation. Um, you have the black dwarf lady, uh, Deza, in the show. She pretty much said in the interview that this do not expect the same J.R.R. Token or don't even expect Peter Jackson type of film. Um, you can expect a modern day version of J.R.R. Token. That doesn't even make sense because J.R.R. Token said Middle Earth lore is its own reality. It's not with this reality. It's its own reality. It's because a lot of people out there try to trace Middle Earth into our past. And J.R.R. Token shot that down. No, it's not a part of our past. It's not a part of our history. It's another place in reality let's check this out let's finish this off right here it said it continues mostly this show contains vastly more content from modern show owners writers producers corp corporate executives for example many of the show characters like Deza Halbrand, Aaron Dor, Baron, Theo, Eleanor, Brady Foot, Sadak Barrows, Poppy Proudfellow, Adar, and more are entirely original Amazon creations evolved in their own original embellished stories. Embellished. There's nine characters, a whole fellowship of original, I like that word, fellowship, they tried to trick us, of original Amazon characters we know uh, just from the pre-release promotional material alone. Whatever anyone stands or opinion on the Rings of Power, it is a separate entity entirely from the Lord of the Rings. A separate entirely entity from the Lord of the Rings, which means you're investing in something bad and something that's going to destroy the legacy of J.R.R. Tolkien. It is a shame out there that you have Christopher Tolkien's son out there that's co-signing this show. It's not a big enough check out there to destroy your family legacy, sir. That's all I'm saying. It's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think about this show? What do you think about what they're doing with the books? It's bad enough they destroyed it with a TV series.
They destroyed the, the second the second age. But now you're even destroying J.R.R. Tolkien's books, the things that started it all. You guys let me know if you think that's a great idea or if you think it's a bad idea. Also in the comments below, you guys let me know when September 2nd comes. Do you believe this show is still going to do good regardless of the backlash? Get back at your boy Fader J. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Because when you hit that bell, it makes your boy Fader J feel oh so good and oh so swell. And I'm out of here. Ninja Vanish.